So when there is an inflammation or infection on the skin, there is an increased production of melanin that leads to PIH. Now this phenomenon is seen more in individuals with darker skin type as in, com as co in comparison with the lighter skin tones. So because there is increased melanin, you see that there is increased appearance of the color also. So PIH will basically appear like tan brown, dark brown when the pigmentation is superficial like in the epidermis layer. But when the, uh, the pigmentation is in the deep dermal depth wherein the macrophages have taken up the melanin, so how does it appear? It can appear dark brown, light brown or bluish gray in color. So whenever we treat PIH, it's very important for us to understand the root cause of the PIH, address the primary concern leading to PIH first or simultaneously at least and then also focus on PIH. There is no point in addressing only the PIH without addressing the underlying active cause for this uh, PIH itself. So what is the course that PIH takes? Now, when the pigmentation is superficial, even without any treatment with the natural exfoliation process of the skin, the pigmentation can tend to become lighter over a period of time. So say six months to 12 months, usually even without any treatment, the pigmentation, the PIH tends to fade away. But if the pigmentation is placed deep, then it might not go away on its own. You will definitely need some treatments. Topical medications along with in-clinic treatments are all, might also be required. Now, when you're dealing with superficial pigmentation, um, like mentioned, even without treatment, it fades away. But with treatment, at least with the topical line of treatment, the pigmentation tends to fade away in about three to four months of time. And when you do in-clinic treatments, the pigmentation can be treated in as less as one to two months time as well. So now, how do we treat PIH? Foundation is very important, which is the skincare routine. Now, the first step is prevention or aggravation of a PIH. So first treat the underlying cause to make sure that the condition is not aggravated or the active concern is treated before it goes to the stage of PIH, right? And then the most important ingredient to have is a good sunscreen in your skincare routine, which will again stop the progression or worsening of the PIH and also to some extent will lighten the existing pigmentation. So look for a good sunscreen in your skincare routine. Other than that, the ingredients that you should be looking out for are ingredients that helps in exfoliation and also targeting the melanin because melanin is the problem here, right? There's excess um, uh, deposition or accumulation of melanin in the area that is affected. So what we're trying to treat here is the melanin. So deep pigmenting ingredients, exfoliating ingredients are what we look for in our skincare routine. So you can have ingredients like um, retinoids. Now the benefit with retinoids is that it will again help with uh, exfoliation, it will help in collagen building, it will also help with in, uh, reducing the inflammation that is there in the affected area. So retinoids or retinol is a great ingredient that you should be having in your skin routine. but again only with the help of a dermatologist who will be able to handhold you through this process, else retinoids or retinol can give rise to um, further irritation or sensitivity skin issues if you start them by yourself without proper guidance. The other ingredients like azelic acid, kojic acid, arbutin, um, tranexamic acid, all of these ingredients have deep pigmenting properties to it, attacking uh, the melanin directly. So look for these ingredients in various combinations uh, in your skincare routine. The other ingredient is vitamin C. Now vitamin C can also help in taking care of the pigmentation um, but again vitamin C is not something that you could be starting on your own especially if you have oily skin or acne prone skin and if your PIH is because of acne and you have active acne uh, always uh, talk to your dermatologist before including vitamin C in your skincare routine. The other ingredient is niacinamide. Now niacinamide has anti-inflammatory properties and also tyrosinase inhibiting properties to a little extent so it can also work on PIH to some extent it's not uh, one of the top ingredients that i would be looking for pih but it is also a good adjuvant especially if you have oily or acne prone skin it helps with anti-inflammatory action controlling the excess oils of the sebum and slightly working on the pih as well so it's a multitasker uh, in a way the other set of ingredients is the exfoliators the chemical exfoliators you have your uh, ahas and bhs depending on your skin type again if you have oily acne prone skin look for salicylic acid based exfoliators if you have dry skin or sensitive skin look for lactic acid or glycolic acid exfoliators now with exfoliation you're increasing the skin cell turnover making sure the dead skin cells or the top pig layers of pigmentation is taken away so you're having a skin lightening effect and also making because you're improving the exfoliation of the skin you're also improving the overall health of the skin so look for exfoliators with the ingredients that I've mentioned. 
So the other set of ingredients or the products that you should be looking out for is a moisturizer. Now your skincare routine is again incomplete without a good moisturizer in your kit because um, it helps in nourishing your skin, maintaining the skin barrier or even repairing the skin barrier if there's inflammation and disruption of it. Um, so look for ingredients that have um, you know nourishing properties like your squalene, ceramides, vitamin B5, even lactic acid which will help with exfoliation also hydration of the skin. Um, and I will also list out the other ingredients that will help in each category that will help in treating your PIH. So in the description box, I'll also be listing out some of the products that you can be comfortably starting by yourself, uh, which will not lead to any sort of reactions. Um, so I will not be including products that has retinols, retinoids or some uh, chemical exfoliants also in nature. So uh, try out those products, but also consult your dermatologist to make sure that the underlying cause for the PIH is treated first. And also depending on the severity of your PIH, appropriate products will be given to you. Now the next uh, segment of the video will be the treatments that are done to address PIH. So like mentioned in the beginning of the video itself, uh, PIH will need the assistance of in clinic treatments to address it effectively, efficiently and also to give you faster results. Now it all depends on the time frame that you're dealing with um, and also how quickly you are looking at the results, right? So if you have a lot of time and you're not in a rush, then just topical treatments also will help in addressing the superficial PIH. Um, so you will be needing about four to five months to see some amount of improvement. But if you want faster results, like I said, so in clinic treatments, we are again targeting the melanin so we will be doing treatments like a q-switch laser or a pico laser that just breaks the melanin down to tiny bits and your body excretes it that is one way the other way is chemical peels that will look at exfoliation and also has depigmenting properties to it um, so chemical peels that will target the melanin again will be done in the clinic usually you'll be needing about four to five sessions the lasers done with a gap of 15 days or 20 days or sometimes if you are putting in high energy and going really deep we do one session, one session in a month so you're again looking at about four to five months of treatments that will help in giving you a near complete remission depending upon the severity of your pigmentation so that's all about uh, PIH or the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. If you have any more questions, put them in the comment section below. Until then, you guys stay healthy and stay happy.